Matthew and David have raised some very important issues that face museums now in the 21st century. Cultural property and heritage are the most important issue that encyclopedic museums are dealing with today. And I have two anecdotes that illustrate this. Um, one is that the first is that when we organized our exhibition of loan works from Pakistan last year, which was a Buddhist material from Gandhara, third century, there were a lot of people that wondered why we were working with Pakistan at a time when US relations were at an all-time low, and it was also against the backdrop of the assassination of Osama bin Laden. So we were very interested in showing another dimension to our understanding of Pakistan today, that here was this ancient culture, Buddhist culture, that was very open society, um, against our understanding of Pakistan in the post 9-11 war as mostly associated with terrorism. So I think that our ability to work in partnership with other countries, especially when we show another kind of um, history to them in terms of the media representation of these countries is a very important one. The other thing about museum collections is that, of course, all museums today are very sensitive about where works come from. In fact, all museums signed on to an association of art museum directors um, guidelines towards collecting antiquities. But I think more than anything else, we have to um, start to think about world culture in a way Matthew very poignantly described it as a universal, it's not just one nation's culture. And I think if we think in that way, it kind of opens up possibilities rather than only being about ownership of that proprietary museum. So for example, within our own Asia Society Rockefeller collection, we have a very important work, a Ninsei vase, that is considered a national treasure in Japan. Mr. Rockefeller, when he acquired it just after World War II, had to get special permission from Japan to export it. And the Japanese authorities deliberated over this because they were, they were obviously releasing a very important work to their own cultural heritage. But in the end, they decided that they would allow it outside of Japan precisely because they felt that Americans and those outside of Japan had to understand Japanese culture in the post-World War II environment. So I think that there, this is a highly sensitive area where we're talking about cultural property, but I think we also have to change our opinions on it.